Sir, this is what's going to help my throat right day. here. This is it. Our friends from Martin's is in the building. Brittany, thank you as well. Brittany always. Hockey, thank yes. you for being here. We are talking appetizers for Thanksgiving, which I would argue is sometimes even more important than dinner. Oh, People are sure. snacking all day yes. long. Yes. So First football's going to be on. You need it. You we, need before it. we even get to this, can, you are busy this week. <laughs> How many people do you have yeah. expected? We have, adults? I think, 26 adults, and not including children. In who you're insane. cooking for. Yes. Well, okay. they all pitch in. Like, it's a family But sure. sure. let's be honest. Yeah. Brittany's doing yeah. the work. I know yeah. the in-laws right. love you, Brittany. Yeah. No, it's good. It's a great time. That's good. That's well, good. What we got? Yeah. yeah. So starting off, um, shrimp cocktail is one of our easy go-tos. Easy, and yeah. stop buying that ring. Make your own cocktail sauce. It is so mm. much better. So it's five ingredients. So ketchup, Worcestershire, horseradish, and then the Heinz sweet chili or uh, chili sauce, which again, you can leave that out if you don't have it at home, all the other ingredients you do, and a little bit of lemon juice, and you have fresh cocktail Wait, sauce. So wow, you're that's saying, it. Don't do the ring stuff. Yes, you can make it. Yes, and it's so much better, because then you can control your heat level with the horseradish as well. So if you like True. it really spicy, not so spicy, you can kind of control that. You know what this is called? What's this here sauce? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you said, I was like, I'm just glad you said it enough. Yeah, uh -huh. so shrimp cocktail, mm -hmm. super okay. easy. There you go. Okay. Martin. You're not a part of the segment, Martin. Get out of here. <laughs> so charcuterie is huge. Okay. huge. You gotta have some cheese and things like that, but dress it up a little bit. You gotta make it look pretty. So something I do with the kids that they actually like to do is making um, a salami flour super easy. Yes. So I just get like the charcuterie pack so it's okay. already sliced and done for I me. I wanna see you make this. Yeah. Okay. So you Go just ahead, take Lauren. that and then you that. just fold it over the lip. <laughs> All right, Josh. Using a champagne glass works a lot better. And you want you it to be a smaller. Stick um, it like this? Yep, and okay. then just keep kind of going around in a circle. What, is this wow. something that you just did yourself one day? It was like, I want to see how this looks. <laughs> and it just, this is amazing. I've never seen this before, but it's all so easy. Right. Yes. Oh. It's, it, anyone at home can do that. And Anybody. I love I love that you always have the, the ideas that look fancy, <laughs> but they're very Super doable. Easy. I mean, if I yes. can do this, you can do this. And then if we, Flour. what do we do? We tip this yep, over so and this you can see this one's done it. so you go until it's tight up top, and then you just flip it upside down on your tray. <gasps> what? Look at that. Are you kidding yeah. So super simple, but it dresses up your cheese board a little bit. Takes five minutes. Yeah, isn't that fun? So S the key is so make sure that your salami is at room temperature and not fresh out of the fridge if it's cold, because okay. it won't stay in shape that right. way. Right. Gotcha. You got this cheese board here. You talked yep. about drizzling honey on one of these, correct? Yes. So the gorgonzola okay. um, with blue cheese and gorgonzola, you kind of get that bite. Gotcha. Um, and the honey definitely helps kind of mellow it out a little bit, and it's a perfect yes. pairing. And gotcha. this looks beautiful and it looks like yeah. it took you a lot of time when right. really it didn't. Yeah. And so I always like to add some dates. We have our olives and then I have a big herb cart at home. So mm. I always like to take like fresh rosemary and just kind of like fill you in your awesome. holes just wow. to kind of dress it up a little and it bit. it smells so good too. Yeah. <laughs> so then again, beautiful. if you're at home or going somewhere, that's easy just to take with you. The main yeah. event, and I've tried one of these, <laughs> you've got to try one. This yeah. right here on the end of the table. Explain yeah, what did you make for you? So I love artichoke hearts. They're like one of my I favorite things. Too. I can open up a can and just eat the whole can. So this is about two cans worth. I drained them. They're quarter artichoke hearts. Tossed them in a little bit of butter and then breaded them with some <coughs> breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. Baked wow. them in the oven. You baked them? Baked them. You can do an air fryer, but like when you got 26 people, you need multiple sheet trays. <laughs> yeah. So, so I would, yeah, I would have this whole plate to yeah. myself. And then I like to dip it in marinara. So you just bake it for about 18 to 25 minutes, flip halfway through, and you got a fun little appetizer and great at room temperature. Wow. So you don't have to worry about keeping it hot. This is out, and this is the, I mean, this is, what is this here really quick? So baked brie. Baked, baked brie, um, okay. And we have this fig orange spread at our stores, and I love just putting that over there, pop it in a 350 degree oven for like 15 minutes. It gets all ooey and gooey, and. This is great. Yeah. And again, it looks nice. Yeah. It looks amazing. Uh, and you Brittany. can do it yourself. Just yeah. go to Martin's yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. Brittany, thank you. Thank yes. you so much thank for all you, you do. And, and I mean, you just ease anxiety Beautiful. and stress on so many families. Yes. Good so ideas. Yeah. All right. Stay there. We'll be right back after we eat.